Hello everybody, I'm forecaster Dustin Staples on the first Friday of 2024. Hope you're doing well where you may find yourself. We've been pretty uh, collectively calm and quiet these past few days. Now changes are going to be abrupting as we go into the weekend, especially on next Tuesday there. But again, let's not get, jump the gun just yet on Tuesday. We do have a first alert weather day issued in advance of this. Sunny and chilly temperatures will be today and then we'll see rain move in tomorrow morning. It'll also begin to get breezy at times too. So that's kind of where we're going into play as we get closer into Saturday and Tuesday are our two big days. We're watching uh, for a best, best chance of rainmakers too. We started out this morning in the 20s and 30s. We're getting close already in the 40s uh, for some of you right there too. Past 24 hours, it's been about five to degrees cooler as we've been out this morning. So if it's out there, the wind is uh, relaxed and calm, not as breezy as it will be going into next week, especially in tomorrow too. So something to keep in mind. Right now, radar is pretty quiet. We love a quiet radar as uh, nothing's going on falling from the sky just yet. This is our storm maker here moving in here. We've already got snow reporting north of Missouri and Arkansas. Meanwhile, the rain is going to be all we'll be seeing here in eastern Carolina, parts of western North Carolina up to the mountains up there towards Boone and Asheville, even parts of that the Appalachia Spine and the Blue Ridge Park. We pick up a lot more of that icy snowy mix there. This is our second system here already beginning to get its act together. The third system, a three series we've had so far. We had our rain earlier on Thursday morning and now uh, another tracking storm as we go beyond this too. Now, now again, the winds will be calm today. Not really much of an issue with this tonight, but they'll be moving into tomorrow. That is when we see this rain uh, action move in. They'll be bringing breezes coming in out of the southwest here. It'll most likely uh, pretty breezy and high winds at time there along our coastal communities. They will see about 15 to 25, 30 miles an hour. Inland areas will see 15 to 20 miles an hour. So we'll get to the gust in just a second though. By late evening on your Saturday, things begin to quiet down and cool down uh, with the wind still being uh, breezy along our coastal communities here. Meanwhile, inland areas will finally see a bunch of break in those winds too. Now, of course, we see these gusty winds pick up later in the day on your Saturday morning. We kind of see this feeding in here. Uh, thanks to all of the suddenly flow, it's going to fix temperatures. Feel a little warmer, but again, it won't be as hot. Let's put it as that, but chilly. That would be the way to put it in the morning hours as our temperatures will be rising overnight to about after three o'clock in the morning. Now you kind of see here these winds continue to come out of the west. They'll continue to filter in as we go through the remaining hours of your Saturday night and into your Sunday. So if our first system, the second system, here it is. We timed it out, stopped at about 11 o'clock in the morning. Snow to the mountains north of Greensboro High Point there. Meanwhile, eastward of Greenville, portion going down to the eastern Carolinas. We'll see the heaviest of the rain by mid-afternoon. Things begin to clear out of here. By late evening, the rain is gone. We stay quiet Sunday. Maybe we'll mount upload snow showers there. And speaking of that, Monday's quiet. Going into Tuesday, well after midnight, here comes our third system now moving in here. Over the past seven days, we've been telling you about this. This, well, this is the one we're watching very closely here. Could prompt some potential for some severe weather with this. We're monitoring this closely as we get into the upcoming uh, day ahead of us. So stay with us all weekend long. Behind it, snow to the north of us. Rain will be exiting by late evening hours uh, and the Wednesday morning hours. So we'll eventually see things kind of quietly calm down as we go in with this too. Now our first system, our second system moving in for Saturday. Rainfall models, maybe about a half an inch or less for most localities here. That'll be the general synopsis with that and with all the rain that we have seen so far with tomorrow's system and then going into Wednesday by the time everything is set and done a good two to three inches of rain possibly we may see a higher amount of four inches in some of your backyards too so that wouldn't be roll out of the question as we do that too now again your forecast highs today getting up in the upper 40s those uh, winds will be out of the east there relaxing not as windy as it will be going into your upcoming weekend now again we'll see rain tonight warming up say after two three o'clock the morning hours these temperatures will uh, gradually happen just right around midnight and then things will begin to move in as warmer air against the two take over for us too. So that is uh, with that. Now looking beyond this, this chilly air continues to stick around. Again, we may tap into some slight warmer air going into late next week and you kind of see here that is quickly gone by the time we get towards mid month. So we'll see what happens with this. If we get any moisture to align up with this cold air or not, it's too hard to tell whether or not that'll be even in our forecast. But again, the next eight days, here again, we'll see chilly temperatures, windy and wet on your Saturday. 60s will be traded for 50s for Sunday and Monday will turn breezy at times too. Tuesday again, our first alert weather day is an issue there. 80% chance of rain. We've uh, you know been giving you the heads about this for quite a while now. Showcasing this rain exiting later late overnight Tuesday in the wee hours of Wednesday morning. We turn calm, getting seasonable back in the 50s for the start of end of week.